What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to change the noise and touch controls on the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 and how to enable the Google Assistant. Now this video is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As for today's video, it was filmed on the Google Pixel 5a 5G. Screen recordings were performed on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and all of this was edited on the Google Pixel Book using the PowerDirector app from the Google Play Store. Ah, the good old Pixel Book. Now, just to give you an idea, this device came out in 2017, and the model I have here features 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the reason I wanted to return to this device is, of course, I do have the Google Pixel Book Go, if you've been following the channel, and that has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I haven't used an 8 gigabyte RAM model in some time. So I wanted to see how this is going to affect my editing because honestly, I don't remember because I haven't used a device with this amount of RAM in a while. That being said, using devices like this allows us to put them through real world usage so you can see real world results. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about how to change noise and touch controls, which is done through the Galaxy Wearable app. Now, although some features can be enabled with the Galaxy Buds 2 in case, it's best to perform these steps with the Buds in ear. Now you can see here our first option is noise controls. Now this allows us to either enable active noise canceling, turn the buds to off, or enable ambient sound. Now as you can see, any of these options are enabled by tapping on them, and we have this smooth animation with blue fill-in that flows from the previous selection to the next one. So again, the first feature we have here is active noise canceling, and when that's enabled, it just blocks out the outside noise. The next feature is off and that just turns the buds off. And then the last feature here, ambient sound, it allows some of that outside noise to come in while you're actually listening to audio. And you may ask, why do you wanna do that? Ambient sound is perfect in a situation where say you are riding or walking along a busy city street and you wanna be able to hear cars or emergency vehicles or other people. Now, if we go back to the off option and enable it, you can see there is no on option. And the way to turn the Buds 2 back on is to either select ANC or active noise canceling or ambient sound. Now, as for performance, in-app noise controls work seamlessly with the Buds 2. Now, there's also good news here. There is an alternative method for enabling noise controls without having to open your phone, and we'll go over that later in this video. Now, our next option here would be touch controls, which features a pill slider. Now, once the slider is highlighted blue, we can tap on the category itself to open a new window with touch control settings. So essentially, this page allows us to customize the touch control settings for the Buds 2. So again, at the top here, we can choose to enable or disable the touch controls for the Buds 2 with a pill slider. Our next three options are gestures we can perform on either the left or right bud for playback controls, and these are also enabled with a pill slider. Now the first option is tap, and that allows you to play or pause a track. The next option is double tap, and that allows you to play the next track. The option after that is triple tap, and that allows you to play the previous track. So to give you an idea of how these would work, a single tap on the bud would pause or play the track, a double tap would play the next track, and a triple tap would play the previous track. And there is a learning curve here. Of course, you have to be able to do the correct amount of taps in the correct spot on the bud. But once you get that down, it actually works really well. Now, the only conflict I've noticed here is if you're playing multiple forms of media, say music and a podcast, and you try to use the touch controls, you may trigger your podcast, for example, when your music was actually playing last. And this can be a little bit frustrating. Now, this issue seems to be fixed by actually going into your phone and selecting the media app with the media that you actually want to play and playing it. And that seems to sync that app with the buds. Now, of course, I do want to use the double tap and triple tap features, so I'm going to tap on the sliders. We're going to turn them to blue, and if the sliders are blue, that means that that function is enabled. 
Also, another thing to keep in mind is if there is a software update for the Buds 2, you may have to go back in and enable these features as the software update may reset them. And the last feature on this list is touch and hold, and that's also enabled with a pill slider. Now we can tap on the category itself, and this opens a new page. Now, as you can see, options are shown for the left and right bud, which means that they can be customized individually with one touch and hold function. Now, there is a con here. If you use one bud like I do, that means that you can only choose one of these touch and hold functions from this list for that bud. So let's talk about that first function, switch noise control. So we have a gear icon to the right of it and tap it on it opens a new window. Now, say I'm going to enable the switch noise controls function for a bud. Personally, I would go with the first option, which is active noise canceling to ambient sound. And how this would work is I would press and hold on the bud and then it would switch from the one function to the other and then I would let it go. And then the next two options are self-explanatory. You can choose active noise canceling to turn in the buds off or ambient sound to turn in the buds off. We can then exit out of this window by either tapping cancel if we're happy with our option, selecting a new option, or tapping on that back arrow in the bottom right hand corner. And then we have our next option which is voice command. Now selecting this option allows you to use a bud with an assistant such as the Google Assistant and we can actually trigger this by pressing and holding on the bud. So this page is just letting us know to set Google as the default assist app to access our assistant and we can do this in the settings. So this opens a new page and you can see that our default device assistant app is Bixby and we could change that by tapping on this selection. So here we have all our different assistant app choices and we're going to tap Google. And then we have a dialog box up here which just lets us know that the assistant will be able to read information about apps and use on your system including information visible on your screen or accessible within the apps. And we're going to tap OK. And now we can back out of this by tapping on the back arrow in the top left hand corner. And then we have another arrow in the top left hand corner we could tap on that as well. Now the next option for the left or right bud would either be volume down or volume up respectively. Now I'm intentionally going to skip the function here because we can actually perform it by another means which I'll demonstrate later in the video. And the last option here is Spotify and yes you can enable Spotify with a touch and hold command for either the left or right bud. Now once our functions are selected we can back out of this page by tapping on the arrow in the top left hand corner. If we tap on it one more time, this brings us back to the home page for the Galaxy Buds 2. Now again, I wanted to talk about volume controls for the Buds 2, and there is an alternate method for enabling it on both Buds without having to use a touch and hold command. Now if you notice, I keep saying Buds, and that's because you do have to use both Buds to do volume up and volume down. That's a slight disappointment because that means that you can't do volume up or volume down on just one bud alone. But we're gonna work with what we have. So we're going to scroll down here and you're going to see earbud settings and we're going to tap on that. Now this opens up a new page and we're going to look for labs and then we're going to tap on that. Now this opens another new page and you're going to see our first option here would be double tap earbud edge. And that's what's going to give us our volume up or volume down for the left or right bud respectively. Now just like all the other functions, this function has a pill slider and if it's enabled, it's going to be blue. Now tapping on this option opens a new page with animations and detail to explain the function. So to make sure that we're explaining this correctly, double tapping the edge of the left earbud turns the volume down and double tapping the edge of the right earbud turns the volume up. So since I have this feature enabled, I'm going to try it out for this video and I will tell you it's going to take some practice, but what you can do is use the shape of your ear as a reference to where to place your finger. So I know that with this bud, I have to place my finger about here on my ear and we're going to try to turn the volume down. We're going to hope that this works. And you can see it is hard to do. But now I got it, it's actually going down. And now I'm going to go to the other side here. And this side's a little easier for me to do. And I'm getting better as I'm practicing it. Now if we tap the arrow in the top left hand corner, that brings us back to the labs page. And if we tap the arrow in the top left hand corner again, that brings us to the earbud settings. 
And then if we tap the arrow in the top left hand corner once more, that brings us back to the Galaxy Buds 2 main page. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.